Hello everybody. Welcome back to a Hush Life vlog. Welcome back to the Hush Life vlog, guys. Um, we're out doing some adventuring out in the beautiful public lands of America. And uh, we're hunting some mule deer with our bows. And uh, it's been quite a blast. This is day number four after it's open. Me and Matt's been up here for six days. Six days. Six days we came in, two days before the unopened backpack in. Um, Logie and my good buddy Bryce came in with the horses uh, two days later, brought some good food with them. And uh, we've had some have, we've had some experiences that have been amazing. And uh, now hopefully we're gonna go have another one tonight or maybe tomorrow. We're on our way to Spike Camp to get a little bit closer to a target buck. We found a buck last night that we were 2.52 miles away. Um, we were up hunting some basins and we got, we had some success and we're finding bucks, but just so crowded, just not just hunters, but hikers, fishermen. It's, you know, Saturday. So a bunch of people rolled in last night and it just kind of shut the deer movement down. So me and Maddie rolled up on the hillside out of camp about a half mile and, uh, started glassing some, I call it big, big, big eye country where you glass everything you can possibly see. And, uh, we found a buck last night, 2.52 miles away from as the crow flies. And so we made a plan and then we came, went back this morning and saw him again, same exact same spot. He's got six other bucks. You anyway, know, so we made a game plan that me and Matt are going to bivy out um, for the remainder of the hunt. Basically we're here for three more days. And so we've got enough stuff for three days. And uh, so we're going to hike up this giant hill and try to find a place to set a camp. And then we're going to go hunt a big buck until we kill him or until we have to leave one of the two. We're going to kill him. We're gonna kill him. I have, I have high hopes. Persistence kills. Persistence kills. It's a butt kicker. A little sweaty. <clears throat> a little sweaty. A lot sweaty. Only. Hey guys, welcome to the First Light store. They have these special edition monsters here, orange, look really yeah. great. Uh, they also have, come here, I'm gonna show you. These are called First Lighters. Huge missed opportunity to put a little ER on the end right there, but not childproof, so that's good. They're signed though, some of them. They are you going to sign it? Yeah, I'll probably just cross out his name and put my name on the stand. Uh, guys, what's up? Welcome to uh, another Hush Life vlog. I'm in Ketchum, Idaho. World headquarters for First Life, if you guys didn't know that. It's actually, I guess we're in Haley, which is just a touch south of Ketchum. But uh, we're touring the uh, new retail store. First Life Flagship, I believe is the proper name. Flagship. Ben is with us. Um, Sam Solholt is here. Just podcasting trivia. Yep. Did you win trivia? trivia? I'm going to. Oh, you're going to. Uh, yeah. It's coming up. <laughs> yeah. uh, ben said he was listening to trivia on the way up here, and he got all the questions right. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Coming in a little cocky. I'm a family well. Jeopardy champ, so you can count on me getting probably zero right now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this uh, this store is opening up on Friday, the 26th yeah. of August, and it's their very first ever like retail establishment. So a lot of people have always asked over the years, how do I try on the First Light stuff because it sells directly on the website? Here's your chance. You can come to Haley. They've got literally all the goods here. You can touch it. You can feel it. You can try it on. They've got uh, the whitetail stuff. They have a ton of Western stuff. They've got some of the new waterfowl stuff. they got some Phelps, some FHF, uh, some meat eaters, some books, all kinds of different things. Sam, first impressions of the store? This store is awesome. It's like, uh, it's like a candy store for clothing. Mike, first impression? He has it He has it down. He has it down? Candy store. Candy store for adults? For men's. Mm -hmm. Clay, first impression? Very nice. I like it. But they're doing Meat Eater Trivia Podcast in here today, amongst many other things. So I'll give you a little behind-the-scenes tour. But if you happen to be in the Sun Valley area, make sure you come check it out. It is just right on, I believe, 1st Street here in Haley. And, man, they did a great job. This place looks incredible. So uh, come along. I'll show you what we're working with.
up guys welcome to my portion of the vlog and welcome back to wild arrow with cody nothing like building my new bow the day before the season but no worries what is today's date eric I think it's, it's gotta be the 19th the 19th yeah the yeah. 19th yeah. so august 19th the uh general season deer hunt and elk hunt in utah starts tomorrow i do have a tag but because we're going to Alaska on Monday, I've decided to opt out of the opening weekend madness. So it's not a big deal that I don't have a bow set up. Um, I'm really wanting to set it up and dial it in for my September over-the-counter archery elk hunt in Colorado. But yeah, this is finally my turn to set up the new bow. What do we got? Yeah. Right out of the box, dude. I, I haven't even seen this thing. I thought you wanted pink strings this time. <laughs> yeah. We gotta keep going with the cool colors, though. I gotta do something unique, but I think I might go tonal. I like Just keep this. it black and green. Oh, yeah. Dude. Sweet. You're gonna love that So book. light. The RX-7. Carbon. Dude. It's I love good. that. This is gonna be my bow for the season, and uh, Cody's gonna help me set it up. We're not, not gonna do a full detail bow build. We've done a bunch of those on our, our channel already. But I'll definitely walk you guys through the main steps and show you some of the components and accessories I'm putting on it. And then, yeah, we'll just kind of take it from there. But welcome yeah, well, back to Wild Arrow. It's going to be a good bow. So I had all my um, accessories shipped here. And they have been here for a little while. But between traveling and trips, I haven't had the time to come do it. So Cody is nice enough to come early. But... Uh, Let's see what we got in here. Let's see if my stuff's still here, hopefully. We got, we got all sorts of stuff. Let's see if the boss is calling us. Nope, it's fog off. I decided to kind of stick with what I know, stick with some of the accessories and sight windows and all that that I've shot in the past and I'm familiar with. Hopefully they're still in here. Is that a lefty? That's your lefty. All right, check it out. So the black gold pro sight. We got a three pin this time. And, uh, yep, it's got the micro adjust and everything we need. So that's the sight we're going to throw on here. All right, guys, we got the bow, I should say. Cody got the bow done. Let me give you a good look uh, at this thing. So that is. Looks good. Out. I got the new color, Army Green. Bit, so. We're just going to shoot it, tune it, get my peep sight in. But that's pretty dang sexy, if you ask me. Looks good, dude. I like it. The green, the green's growing on me. Show us what we got. All right. So we got the RX-7 Shorty. Um, we've got a black gold Picatinny on there. We went everything slim on this bow. Uh, the whole purpose of all the new features with the integrated, the Picatinny, is so you can get that quiver nice and slim. Everything fits really streamlined. Um, we're going to have Eric run the new two bar system that you can run with this lower center of gravity. I think it's going to be really beneficial because it's going to give him stability without a bunch of bulk. We're going to have him try a sidebar. Eric usually doesn't like sidebars, but worst case scenario, we can quick detach this and we can just take, when I say quick, we can take and take it off if you want to. So um, I think he's going to like it. We're going to paper tune it now. Everything's on it and installed. Sight's leveled, squared. All we got to do now is paper tune it and see if we need to make some minor tweaks but it looks good man yeah I, I dig the green this matching is my favorite like some years you get stabilizers that look good and they match but they're not like perfect this year color matching they killed it so um i, I like that a lot i shoot the same thing in buckskin i couldn't decide colors but i might have to set a green one up now yeah it it's pretty so smooth, good man. i like it so good okay let's shoot this thing you make sure I got an e clip, shit. otherwise. I'll play your don't, dude, don't, don't shoot. It might get a little weird. Yeah, don't shoot that one. Eric's is fine. Oh, yeah, not yours, sorry. Oh, yeah. That feels so good. Dude, the cam cycle and the back wall in these new bows, unreal. Okay, what do you want me to do? Just do your shot so you can normally process. Sweet. Slightly left. <laughs> like, what the? You're on the cam. <laughs> Shot a little left, so we're gonna make a couple tweaks, but nothing, nothing to worry about. Yeah, 
just this one. The boat is not tuning to the imperial. That's when you can get it. Because what I want to do is sell you like like the air like he's running with the lips and the drops, which are killer arrows. If it's not, um, if it's not tuned to it, I don't want you to go out and shoot them. Like BMAC the rocking a beard. Yeah. We made it on the big screen here at Wild Arrow. Ryan's kind of a big deal. You <laughs> made it, Brian. There's our hunt with Adam Weatherby. We got this guy rocking the Hush shirt. You're on the vlog, dude. You're on the live awesome. vlog, man. Awesome. <laughs> you know what's fun about coming down to Wild Arrow is meeting people. Had a gentleman from North Carolina who is out here because he drew a limited entry deer tag in the Vernon unit, and that starts tomorrow. And uh, next thing I know, this guy walks in with a hush shirt. So, super cool, man. That's one fun part of coming down here. But I wanted to end this portion of the vlog. Thanks to the team at Wild Arrow as usual. Cody and Jeremiah always setting us up. Working on some arrows using the hush veins and wraps. These guys also sell this stuff here at the shop. So you guys can pick some up if you ever come down. And if you do come down, let them know that we sent you down. These guys are our right hand man if you would say when it comes to all our archery stuff we appreciate their support so come support these guys down at the shop when you can